14 Bosler, Houston, Texas, August 31st, 2010. I'm in Houston today, and I'm looking at post oaks. Now, post oaks have been dying all over town this summer. And this one here, I had beautiful sun a minute ago, so bear with me. This one here is totally dead. All right. This one here is almost completely defoliated. This one has very bacterial leaf scorch like symptoms throughout its entire crown. I want to recommend treating for bacterial leaf scorch. And I'm not even really inclined to test it for bacterial leaf scorch. She's so these this one in the middle is barely still alive too. All of these have viable leaf buds, and I guess it could be argued that if we get a cool off in early September, September starts tomorrow. If we get a cool off, we can. Maybe there's a chance that we can get these trees uh, keeping going. This is a newly constructed home. It was completed two years ago. I was pointing out to the customer that turf grass and irrigation systems are mortal enemies of post oaks. Uh, that this should all be turned into a into a tree ring to prevent the weed eater and lawnmower damage, but also to get rid of the, as much of the turf grass as possible in the root zones of these trees. I recommended a root invigoration procedure, but I don't want to be irresponsible about it, because let's face it, these trees are in pretty rough shape. And I don't want to take a bunch of the customer's money doing a very involved root invigoration procedure that removes the labor, involves the labor intensive removal of the turf grass the uh, decompaction, aeration, incorporation of organic matter, uh, etc. It's basically a, a, a fancy soil reconditioning procedure on trees that look this bad. I mean, this one I think we can keep. These two, I think, are going to require some rosary beads, but the soil is extremely compacted. I had to get a rubber mallet out to try to get my probe in the ground. Now it's still only able to penetrate seven inches. And uh, what I found was that it's bone dry. So there's, there was one inch, there was one inch of topsoil, and then there was this, this rock hard, bone dry, very compacted clay just beneath it. And uh, so she's irrigating, and it's just running straight off to this ditch. It's just running right off the surface. There is zero ground penetration of this irrigation system, so I said, get a soaker hose on these trees right away. There's a guy next door, uh, Rivers, whose dad's a PhD. Uh, he and his dad have parted ways, I believe, from, they're not business partners, but he says he only does sick trees, and he's telling his next door neighbor, uh, Anthracnos and Ambro Asian Ambrosia beetle. I, you know, we're, he's looking at like this tree here. I'm not going to argue with the guy, but I don't think it's Amphithracnos, and I don't think it's Ambrosia, Asian Ambrosia beetle. So, I'm tempted to ask the lab just to take a look at a sample and see if they think that this is Amphithracnos. That's it's not, my di not my pocket diagnosis. All right, feel free to email me or uh, if you have any questions.